Not a bad break either. At the end of 100 metres, dropping out to last was Lord Lycan. And on the inside, the leader is Private Image, a half-length on race for pleasure. Third is Take the Kitty, followed by Let's Twist Again at Atari. Caught out pretty wide efficient, a length to ideal time, and one then coming strictly Irish star, Gitano, what a night. Supertard second last, Lord Lycan last. At the 800 metres, a packed field. Take the Kitty in front, ideal time goes up second, a length third Private Image, and then at Atari, race for pleasure. Caught out wider next is efficient and then let's twist again further back in the field strictly Irish star Gitano and then comes what a night super targe and absolute being Lord like and only six lengths covers them on the point of the corner and the leader here is take the kitty about three quarters of a length ideal time second at Atari goes up into third posse and behind those horses private image race for pleasure and then strictly Irish and star Gitano 250 to go and at Atari about four off the inside rail and strictly Irish burn off ideal time here's private image getting right up on the inside and Private Image races to the lead at the 100 metres and Private Image has drawn nearly a length in front, second at Atari then Strictly Irish but Private Image is going to score and Private Image a half length to at Atari, third home was Strictly Irish, then Lord Lycan so the unofficial numbers there, 9 1 and the third place getter a little bit difficult, number 12 it is, Strictly Irish but Time clicks over to 12.25. Five hurdles in the straight and then eight after that, and away they go. Sir Agrafo looked a little bit slow and so did Remaster early, but no damage done over two miles. As they approach the first, Valiant Gamble and also past the Batten and Rayford together and Steppenwolf showing good speed as over it they go. Lay's choice out in the centre of the track, Sir Agrafo, Remaster and behind them Bay of Naples and the Arco Burn. Valiant Gamble led at the second and jumped it comfortably, a length and a half to pass the Batten. Diamond seen pulling hard, Sir Agrafo and Steppenwolf about four off the fence with Rayford. Then Remaster, Mr Scrooge, Niarco, Byrne, Lay's Choice and Bay of Naples. At the third and Steppenwolf's taken over, he's about four off the fence and he approaches it and jumped it cleverly. From past the Batten and Valley and Gamble, one to Niarco, Byrne, a length and a half to Remaster and on its inside Rayford, Sir Agrafo, Diamond seen. Then Lay's Choice, a length and a half to Mr Scrooge and Bay of Naples. They've jumped four, they've got nine to go and Steppenwolf is strolling along a length in front of Niarco Byrne, past the bat in the box seat, the fence. As they go over that, he must have jumped it a bit slowly. Rayford on his inside. Three wide is Lay's choice, four wide now. Two lengths away, Sir Agrafo, Valiant Gamble, Bay of Naples. Wonder Diamond seen second last, and Harnett has Mr Scrooge last of all. 2100 out in the hurdle, and Niarco Byrne moves up on the outside of Steppenwolf, and the favourite's now a bit keen. Two links away to Rayford outside, past the bat, and pace steady, lays choice three deep, he must have the centre, Valley and Gamble the rail. Two to Sir Agrafo, Diamond seen as our approach the next, and Steppenwolf jumped it well. Diamond seen third last, Bay of Naples second last, and a length away, Mr Scrooge. 1800 out in the hurdle, and Steppenwolf three to Niarco Byrne, and past the bat, and with Rayford travelling all right, and then lays choice is covered a lot of ground. At the next, then Remaster and on the inside, Valiant Gamble jumping well. Sir Agrafo's off around them, four wide from Diamond seen Mr Scrooge and two lengths away Bay of Naples. 1500 out and Steppenwolf goes to this and jumps it nicely and they're all over it safely. A length and a half past the Batten's had a good run. Lay's choice outside Niarco Byrne, a length and a half to Sir Agrafo and Valiant Gamble. Two links further back on the field into Rayford and Mr Scrooge together, a length and a half then, oh gee, one of them nearly fell there, Rayford, he put his nose on the ground. Bay of Naples around to him from Remaster and Diamond Scene. 1,200 out, 20 links cover them and Steppenwolf goes over that about three quarters to pass the Batten. A length and a half to Sir Agrafo on the inside of Lay's Choice and they've got away from the others. Four links to Valiant Gamble, Mr Scrooge, Niarco, Burn beaten, one to Bay of Naples, Remaster not travelling at all well at the next. A length and a half behind him then is Diamond seen and hooking out Rayford, but he's lost his posse. Steppenwolf at the 800, about a length past the Batten, Sir Agrafo. Two to Lay's Choice, the rest you wouldn't think is about ten links, Valiant Gamble and Mr Scrooge with his ear scrubbed off and another ten links away then to Rayford and Remaster on the bend at the 600 and Steppenwolf who's led practically all the way by two links to Sir Agrafo past the bat on the outside lays choice under extreme pressure and Mr Scrooge they've got two to go in the hurdle two jumps fronting them in the straight and Steppenwolf slipped away about three to Sir Agrafo and past the bat 
at the second last. Oh, he nearly crashed through it, Stephen Wolf. He's two to Sir Agrafo out after him now. Then past the bat in a long gap to Lay's choice. They come to the last. Stephen Wolf approaches it. He brushed through it, but he's two or three in front of Sir Agrafo. Four lengths away past the bat, and Stephen Wolf looks to have it well won at the 250. He's three or four in front of Sir Agrafo. A gap in the field past the bat, but Stephen Wolf, he's a promising hurdler, wins five lengths Sir Agrafo. Six lengths away behind them past the baton. A long gap in the field to remuster Rayford, Mr. Scrooge. Uh, then lays choice Bay of Naples, Diamond Scene. Niarco Vernon, Valiant Gamble has lost his rider at the final jump when he was well out of contention. in the first. They're off in Sydney. Gold Trump the favourite, 95 cents. Pilgrim going quickly, followed by Merry Century. Cool action. Potter McQueen driving up on the inside, followed then by Perish of Ice and behind those horses next will Echo. Gold Trump making some ground and then steady and Wexford Castle and note losing leeway. From Care to Dance Imperial Dynasty, a long gap then to Sober Lad and equalises last. Pleasant Express at the 700. Two and a half Potter McQueen. A length the cool action and Perish of Ice followed by Merry Century Road to the Isles. Wonder Magic Heart and Will Echo. Gold Trump well and truly snookered. Then Steady Ann, Sunny Pilgrim, Care to Dan, Sober Lad, followed by Wexford Castle. A long margin Imperial Dynasty and Equalizer, Homeward Bound. And Pleasant Express at the 400. Two lengths on Potter McQueen. Dittman had a peep to see where Gold Trump was aboard Potter McQueen. And he surges the sedge and ho horse to the lead Potter McQueen. But cool action comes at him. Gold Trump getting warmed up, going between the two leaders. And here comes Gold Trump. Gold Trump, 150. There goes surges to the lead from Cool Action and Potter McQueen. And it's Gold Trump Marshall having a pretty hard ride. He's running about a good deal, but he's going to win and make it three out of three. Gold Trump has beaten Cool Action, third Potter McQueen, and then came Will Echo, followed by Pleasant Express and Road to the Isles, Magic Heart, Merry Century, Sunny Pilgrim, Care to Dan, Sober Lad, Imperial Dynasty, Wexford Castle, Steady and Equalizer, and Perish of Ice back at the Rio. Well, the unofficial there, one, three, and two. Gold Trump, J. Marshall and Bruce Mack at number one gold Trump 95 and 55 three cool action 115 and two Potter McQueen 65 cents they're on the track in Adelaide for the first that's the second race in a row boys that uh, the top three have shared in the dividends you look really nice Phil thank you Tony and uh, a little bit of rain just uh, fell here a moment ago uh, hardly enough to dampen the uh, the ground but Here to be all in and set for a start. On the Just a Gamble hurdle, Bright Fontaine a little slow to hit the ground with expect to welcome Highland Ranger. On the other hand, Balvary came out running with Tazzy's shout as they search for the first hurdle. They're coming to it now and High Man 2 draws through on the inside. It's Tazzy's shout and High Man 2 as they clear the first and Highland Ranger dropped to the tar, but it's a compact field. Bright Fontaine checking feverishly off the heels of one in front of it. Truly brilliant runs to about third, expect to welcome fourth the rail, being followed through by Highland Ranger who's actually on the outside of Bright Fontaine. They're a little as Bright Fontaine is hanging down and Balvary's around them and last of all Fantasy Knight sending up a few little divots as they turned and uh, come down towards the first of three in the straight and Tazzy Sharp made a mess of it. He got away with it though we'll see what he does at the second one. He's on the outside of High Man 2. Here's the second of the trio in the straight. They're all over it. Highland Ranger didn't jump at all that well and uh, neither did Dover on the inside with him Bright Fontaine. At the third one he gives Tazzy Sharp more leverage and it races out two in front clears it from High Man 2. Fantasy Knight's very deep around Balvary to welcome. They're making the TAB favourite work on the turn out of the straight. Truly brilliant meanwhile is enjoying a perfect run just behind them. Then about two away behind those Highland Ranger and over on its inside Bright Fontaine. It's been an interesting race. 1800 to run as they go towards the next one near the 1700 and they're racing at close quarters pretty well with Tazzy Shout a couple in front of High Man 2. Oh, he propped at that one but he got away with it. High Man 2 second. Fantasy Knight now one off the rail. Over on the inside expect to welcome. It could be blinded over that jump but he jumped it alright as 
they work towards the far side. Truly Brilliant is next with Highland Ranger going up to him and Balvary between them and two away to Bright Fontaine. There's only about five or six lengths first to last and here's the first of three along the far side now. Near the 1400 metre mark, Tazzy Shout. Jump that better. He landed uh, with more confidence. Two and a half getting away slightly to High Man 2. Fantasy Knight niggled at. Joined by Expect to Welcome Truly Brilliant as they clear the second of the three along the far side. Running past the 1200, Highland Ranger was next. Expect to Welcome continues to run up on the rail and then Bright Fontaine and Bowery only about four and a half lengths first to last. They pack up again now and they've gone over the last along the far side. They go past the thousand for the run down the side and it's Tazzy Shout. Fantasy Knights dropped out the last. There's something amiss with him I think. High Man 2 runs to second and puts the pressure on the leader. Two away to expect a welcome who's starting to show some tines of uh, slowing up a little. He's been joined by Truly Brilliant and then on the outside Highland Ranger. Now they're starting to get away from Bright Fontaine, Bowery and Fantasy Knight. Goodness knows he's running a shocking race. The TAB favourite. Here they come down towards the third last one and Tazzy Shout High Man 2 landed together. They're out about three in front of Truly Brilliant with the reins thrown at it. Two or three away to expect a welcome now flattened being joined by Highland Ranger. Eight to Bright Fontaine, Balvary and forget all about Fantasy Knight. It's running a terrible race. Two more to jump. Here they come towards the second last one at the top of the straight. High Man 2 gets away from Truly Brilliant who runs to second. Tazzy Shout struggling and further back in the field then came Highland Ranger. Then further back to expect the welcome. Bright Fontaine hooked it badly but over the last one High Montaigne two or three in front. Uh, Truly Brilliant dipped on landing but he'll hold second. Further back to Tazzy Shout and a long way back to Highland Ranger but High Man too good too good for them. Gets home by three lengths to Truly Brilliant. Two and a half away third Tazzy Shout. Three lengths to Highland Ranger. Eight away to expect a welcome. Uh, further back in the field then Bright Fontaine Fantasy Knight and Balvary's lost his rider on the flat after jumping the last. Unofficial numbers in Adelaide. Five, nine and three. Five, High Man two. Nine, Truly Brilliant. And three, Tazzy Shout. Wait for the light. All clear given back behind the line. Light on racing. Uh, Trista Gold second slowest to begin. Carrick missed at six lengths. Trista Gold third last early and Herxway slow today. Stormwidge has ridden hard to try and lead Princess Swing as they settle down, but Princess Swing drives through. My new friend Star Chisel up there. Just behind those horses is Lord Quester and showing speed, Dancing Gate and Cindy's Appeals midfield. Shy reaches up about fifth on the outside. A Venuzzo midfield and Trista Gold who's recovered a bit at the thousand. Young Carlisle Carrick Latham, one of the last Serratino and back last Herc's way going up towards the 800 and Star Chisel about a neck in front on its uh, outside then is Storm Wedge and a length and a half, Princess Swing the box seat Shy Reach around the outside of my new friend, then Venuzzo on the fence, Lord Quest, a young Carlisle dancing gate and Trista Gold, he's about four off the lead, he has Cindy's appeal on his inside and then Serratino Carrick whirl back with Latham on the turn and Herc's way, 500 out, Storm Wedge took the lead, my new friend quickly joined it and Shy Reach has moved up to them. Two to Venuzzo. Trista Gold's about six off the lead and struggling and Yark Carlisle's coming with a run. Shy Reach, Gauchy went for the whip, led about a long neck storm wedge. Young Carlisle's moved up quickly from Venuzzo and then Cindy's appeal and Trista Gold at the distance. Shy Reach, Young Carlisle, here's Cindy's appeal and Trista Gold. They're coming over the top of them. Cindy's appeal's taken the lead from Young Carlisle and then came Trista Gold and Cindy's appeal. It's G Hall for the money. Trista Gold Gold, second young Carlisle, third then Shy Reach and Venuzzo. Dancing gate behind those horses, Herxway. Then Serratino Carrick after a slow start. Lord Preston, my new friend, Stormwedge start. Chisel, Prince of Swing, a shocker. And Latham, two, three, and a photo official at Flemington. Sir Valentino was in the stride nicely. Going up is Tip the Century looking for the lead and Prince Invaders handy. Mr. Siren out in no man's land. Then Gold Playboy followed a length back by our magic dream. Now follow my style, going to have a shot for the lead. Then the Brotherhood and further out is Lord Keeper. Knife out six and seven wide from Gravy Train. Like a knight and then Mr. Aries and end the bunch field last is Island Joe. Only seven lengths covers them out of the course proper. Follow my style now in front of Ruley Red. Tip the Century between them. Mr. Siren on a limb, a link, Prince Invader, Sir Valentino, our magic dream and gold playboy. A link further back is Knife, still very deep from the Brotherhood and one to Island Joe. And then comes Gravy Train, followed by Lord Keeper, like a knight, and Mr. Aries is last. They go past the 600 metres and follow my style on the inside as just in front of Tip the Century. Ruley Red is three deep and four wide, Mr. Siren, followed by Sir Valentino. And a link, the Prince Invader, further back, our magic dream, and the widest galloper is the well-tried Knife. Over 
over the rise at the 300. Plenty of chances here. Here comes Knife. Knife at the 250, sprinting quickly, takes the lead from Mr. Siren and Tip the Century at a length of Brotherhood. But it's Knife coming down to the 150, full of running. And Knife is careering away from the Brotherhood Island, Jay, rocketing home. But do you think this has landed some money? Knife. Knife has won it from a tight finish between Island Joe, gravy trains flashed up wide out, and the Brotherhood has run a big race, and he's right up there in the photo for the miners from Mr. Aries, Prince Invader, Tip the Century, Mr. Siren, then came Follow My Style, our Magic Dream, Sir Valentino, Lord Keeper, Like a Knight, then Gold Playboy, and Ruley Red was last. Well, the unofficial is no doubt that numbered place. And there's the result of the uh, photo. 13 Island Joe was second, $4.40. And number seven, Gravy Train, $2.25. They're the end. They'll all be moving in there. As you can see, they look like they're all set and they're off Again, in the they're second. Ready. They're racing and a pretty tidy start. The slowest to leave the machine was under oath. And away quickly, Amalind with Twig now Dowie. Super Sid, Mozzie Bite and Runaway Night all vying for a forward posse. Two lengths to Aspect Bay and four to under oath. As they work along the far side, it's Amalind being taken on by Super Sid, who draws a neck in advance and Mozzie Bite runs to second. Amalind sits third now. A length and a half away to Dowie. Two lengths to Runaway Night joining and passing Twig now. And a length and a half away to Aspect Bay and seven lengths away then to Under Oath. Racing down the side and Super Sid showed out a length and a half clear. Now gaining a little bit of ground into second clearly is Mozzie Bite. Third Amalin, two lengths away Dowie, runaway night, two and a half away then Twig now. Hard ridden passing it on the outside is Aspect Bay and five or six away to Under Oath. Before the turn Super Sid led but Amalin comes away from behind him now, gets off the rail and moves to second. Mozzie Bite done with. Dowie struggling, runaway night, hard ridden. Further back to Twig now, Aspect Bay as they they cut into the track and last under oath. Amalin claiming Super Sid as they run down towards the 250. They're four in front of Aspect Bay making ground. Runaway Knight and Dowie are all struggling. Super Sid though is holding Amalin at the moment. She's trying to pick him up. Three in front of Dowie. Aspect Bay further back but Super Sid, our roughy tip on the race is easily holding Amalin. They won't get him and Super Sid, a bit of a track specialist, comes away. Two lengths or more to Amalin. Third Runaway Knight, three away. Then came Dowie, Aspect Bay, five lengths further back to now under oath and Mozzie Bite. Well, the unofficial numbers well, in Adelaide Race 2, 7, 4 and 2. 7 Super Sid, obviously uh, suited by the heavy track over there in Adelaide. Number 4, Amalind, 2nd and number 5, Runaway Night. That's how we they call them, past the post. Race 3 in Cheltenham is the Brain Lover Plate. Let's have a look. We'll have the totes for that very soon, but let's go back to Flemington's 95, the Quinella 330, trifecta $377.85. Sydney Race 3, number 2 knife, 145 and 80, very well supported, 13 Island Joe 430 and 7 Gravy Train, $2.55, Quinella $33.10, trifecta $610.15. Adelaide, correct weight now, number 7 Super Sid, 545 and 120, 4 Amelin, 60 cents, five runaway nights, 75 cents, the Quinella, $6.55, and the Trifecta, $69. Well, Melbourne race three, the Kentucky Nuggets steeplechase. There's the field, the favourite, Sing for Supper. He looks like he's nearly collected. $1.20 he's come up on the tote. 17 fences, five in the straight, and one before they get there. Away they go. Lazy River next to the fence with more. Sing for Supper, as you did last week. Greeny allows him to drop out early, and he'll quickly make ground in the straight. Malabar's out wide with Vim just returned. Camden Boy over the first with Sky Ross, dead end. Uh, further back on the field, a magic push, and around the outside of those picks, choice. Sing for Supper's about fourth last with Law Falu, Lazy River. In the straight, they've got five fronting them here, and Wild Native goes over it in front, and they're over it safely. Led a length and a half to Camden Boy, Sky Ross, and then just return to Malabar at the next. Two lengths away, dead end inside a bit more. Sing for Supper hit it a bit behind Lazy River. Then Vim on his outside. Further back, Top Music, Peg's Choice at the next. Uh, back second last, Magic Push, and last of all is Law Falu. 25 links covered them as they come to the next and Wild Native led from Camden Boy and he jumped it well, Sky Ross third a length and a half just return and Sing for Supper's moved up on the inside Malabar the outside dead end at the last in front of the judge, so they go to it and Wild Native and Camden Boy jumped it together and the last one's Law for Lou and in front of him is Magic Push and also as they leave the straight top music Vim and uh, also Peg's Choice 25 links first to last into the back, 
Got a treble along here and Camden Boyce taken over and he's going boldly. Three to Wild Native, a length and a half. Skyros with the run of the race for Harnett. Just return the outside, then dead end and sing for supper. Malabar covering ground. Two links further back then to Vim outside. Lazy River at the next and on the inside top music from Morse. Two links further back on the field to Magic Push. About three to Peg's Choice and Law Falu on his inside. About to approach the next and it's Camden Boy off the fence with Wild Native the inside. Sing for supper, nice and handy outside Skyros. Guy Ross, three links to Just Return, who's travelled OK. Malabar, as I said, has covered a fair bit of ground and dead ends in the centre of those horses. G uh, Magic Push all but fell at third last. Lazy Rivers midfield at the moment. Top Music just in front of him, about two or three links further back to Vim with Morse. Then Magic Push after a bad jump on his outside Peg's Choice and two to Law for Lou. Onto the steeplechase course, they go to the Abattoir's Travel and it's Wild Native and Camden Boy together. Two to Sky Ross and a length and a half to for supper, just return almost sold out. Dead end went past him with Malabar. Then Top Music and Lazy Rivers are at the second of the treble. Four lengths away, Morse hard ridden from Vim as they go to the third, and Wild Native jumped it in front. Uh, hitting it hard was Lazy River. Magic pushes back to last, and Law for Lose in front of him with Vim. Wild Native led, they've got four to jump, Camden Boy the outside, three to Skyros and four to Sing for Supper. Dead end's gone past Sing for Supper, he's facing a big task, the favourite. Four to Just Return, then Malabar under the whip, Lazy River and further back Top Music. At the third last, and Wild Native led a length and a half, Camden Boy. Eight links to Skyros, dead end, two links to Sing for Supper, he's giving them a good start and not going all that well. Three to Just Return and a gap to Malabar at the second last. Wild Native jumped that he ran out out a bit, led about two or three to Camden Boy. Harnett throwing everything at Sky Ross, three lengths away, dead end, sing for supper, just return. Into the straight, one to jump, Wild Native and non stayer leads four or five, Sky Ross, Camden Boy and dead end. Coming to the last, Wild Native about five in front, he's got a good lead, he approaches it and jumps it well from Sky Ross, Camden Boy, then dead end and sing for supper, but he's home today, Wild Native. He's six or seven in front of Sky Ross, Camden Boy and dead end, and Wild Native is coming away for an impressive win. Leads eight lengths. Sky Ross will run second. Camden Boy keeps going for third. And look at Morse charging home. Watch for him in the grand annual. He might get third. Wild Native wins. Sky Ross second. Close for third. Camden Boy got it. Morse fourth. Uh, then dead end. Law for Lou made up ground. Just return. Peg's choice. Well, poor old Sing for supper. His winning run had to come to an end. Lazy River Vim. A couple of the last home were Malabard, Magic Push, and also Top music official placings after the third event two six and it will be seven when the judge examines the print 15 six sky ross 130 and seven camden boy 130 the quinella approximate uh, 1415 and the trifecta 283 dollars and 95 cents bruce you've got one to watch in the next race and he have it randwick let's cross over there to our caller ian craig I regard the two widest runners here. Off. On water jumped out pretty well. Jumped better than a high regard. Held the time away nicely. Sportsman going quickly from Jack High Star of Luskin. And then Top Gallery followed on the fence by Diamond ahead. A length of Deuce and Fair Risk and two Taipan Star. A length Diabolical Liberty. Wider out Ideal Patch and Spinning Wagon followed by Alabama Lad. And Galactic Warriors last. Over the crossing at the 800. On water just in front of Star of Luskin. Sportsman and High Regard right out on a limb. Jack High in that clump. A length and a half into Diamond to hit and the juice and one to top gallery. Two lengths further back, Elder Time and then Fear Risk and Wider Out Taipan Star, then Alabama Lad and Ideal Patch, Diabolical Liberty Spinning Wagon and Five or Six Galactic Warrior. They're on the corner now. On water, in front by about a length. Second star of Luskin, High Regard, Wide Out, third from Jack High Sportsman and further back, Diamond Head and then comes a Deuce. Travelling down to the 250, star of Luskin going backwards and on water, nursed along by Cooker. Half High Regard under the whip, Sportsman stick on then Diamond Head at the 100 however and on water coolly written by Peter Cook he's got them beaten on water he's a length and a half sportsman at high regard and on water Cook at his brilliant best on water a length and a half to high regard and those away third sportsman and then came on the inside Diamond Head further back Jack High top gallery then Elder Time Galactic Warrior Star Alaska a flop from Alabama Lad Ideal Patch Diabolical Liberty Spinning Wagon Taipan Star Reduce and Fair Risk was last. Well, and a fifty dollars and forty cents. The update at a seven star.